In this video, I'm going to go over the snap tool as well as cover snapping in general here in 3D Coats Retopology Workspace. It works in a global fashion, meaning that when you click on the button, it's going to snap whatever meshes you have residing on a given layer. Whether it's one mesh or multiple meshes, it doesn't matter. It's going to snap them all. You also have the capability to perform localized snaps. So I'll go ahead and get started here by pulling part of the mesh out. I'm going to turn auto snapping off so it's not working against me as I move this mesh. So I'm also going to hold down the shift key and you'll see a little green profile inside my brush. If I drag up and down, that's increasing or decreasing the intensity of the smoothing or relaxing effect as I brush. So if I want a stronger smoothing effect, I need it to be all the way up. And sometimes you don't want any. It can help to turn that completely off. And that way, when you have auto snapping turned on, all it's doing as you tap or brush is snapping beneath your cursor. And that's it. So again, I'll right click and drag up. So I'm smoothing a mesh. And it's still extended outside the voxel object. So let's click the snap tool. And you can see it snap. It had some little small issue here. So let me turn auto snap on. And it's created a little bit of a mess. What happens in a situation like this is you have vertices that are in the same vicinity that are competing for the same space and just creates snapping errors. The most common situations where you'll find snapping errors is wherever you have creases such as the back of the ear, corners of the eyes or lips, and even in the nostrils. What we can do is with auto snapping turned on, hold down the shift key, and you can see sometimes it makes it worse. Let's go ahead and reduce our smoothing amount. So let's turn that off and now we can relax. I'm even going to push some of these, kind of spread it out a little bit more. And this time I'm going to actually push it beneath the ear, beneath the voxel object. And we have a couple different options for snapping. Closest along normal, the nearest. Let's try closest along normal. And now let's hit snap. Still had a small snapping error there. Let me undo. Let's try another option, outer surface. Snap. That worked much better. So you can see by example that some work better than others in different circumstances. Um, yeah, let's turn auto snapping back on. And again, I can right click and drag to bring my smoothing value to zero. And then as I brush, all it's doing is snapping. So let me pull that out just a bit right there. Turn auto snapping off. Now turn it back on. Again, with my smoothing value at zero, just tap or brush. So let's try the corner of the mouth. I'm going to turn auto snapping off. I'm going to push the mesh inside the voxel object and then just hit snap. I've got a bit of a mess to clean up here. So another option we can turn to is going to the select tool and just select faces, edges, reverts. In this case, we just stick with vertices. I'm going to reduce my brush size. And I can just brush select an area. You can also use any one of these selection marquees if you want. Maybe freeform lasso. You might accidentally select all the way through. Hold the control key and it's going to deselect. So with auto snapping still turned off, what I want to do is try and bring the vertices that are beneath the voxel object, I want to try and recover those to bring them to the surface and then smooth or relax a little bit. 
So one thing I can do is use the transform tool now. You can try main axis, and if that doesn't orient your gizmo the way you need it, you can hold down the shift key and adjust the widgets to change your position and rotation of your gizmo only. The other option is to click on move only gizmo, but holding the shift key is a little bit faster. Okay, so let's go ahead now and we can pull that entire section out. Our main objective here is to get all the vertices above the surface of the voxel object. And I could even flatten that out just a bit by scaling right down our y-axis. Okay. So with that done, I can hit Escape. I still have those vertices selected, so I can relax. And just continue clicking until I'm happy with the degree of relaxation or smoothing. It's still quite a bit, so I'll hit Escape, switch to the Brush tool. Looks like it's still above the surface. And now, this time, let's go ahead and click Snap. And we're good to go. So that's a quick look at the Snap tool inside of 3D Coat and snapping in general. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.